Hey guys. guys! Welcome back to the Hackett family. This is our food vlog from February where we went to Universal Orlando and Walt Disney World. Well done Scarlett, great intro. <laughs> so we started our trip with a lovely little breakfast at San Carlo at Manchester Airport which has got an unbelievable setting and is definitely one of Lindsay's favourites. It is. <laughs> I mean, look at the queue. <laughs> it, um, yeah, the queue, but it actually went down really quick, didn't it? Did it did go quick. It's got a lovely setting inside. Yeah. And for breakfast, I had the Eggs Benedict. Yeah. And then Lindsay and Scarlett and Sienna had the scrambled egg with the sourdough toast. What did you think, girls? You know, so good. No, it is very good. The sourdough toast was really, really hard, if you remember, so I had it to was. ask for extra. But we bread. asked for white bread, white bread and we got brown bread, so <laughs> it depends what, yeah, yeah, the white bread was really fluffy but and soft. It was really nice. It's a nice little way to start your holiday. One of the things I would say to people though, guys, is it is really expensive. So consider it when you're doing it because there is other options as well. And, and it was about £50 for breakfast that morning, wasn't it? Yeah, Which actually, it when we were thinking about it, we could have probably gone and done a lounge instead. Yeah. So we then went over on the flight and we had a great day in Univer a great evening, sorry, at Island of Adventure. Mm -hmm. And on our way back, we got to our hotel, which was the Endless Summer Dockside, and went to Pier 8 Market to their uh, quick service, which we thought was lovely, didn't really we? Nice. It was really nice. Really, really, really We were really tired, light. weren't we? We had a yeah. long day. We'd been at the park, flown over. <laughs> So we were like, let's just grab something at the hotel. We were thinking about going off-site, weren't we? We were going to go down yeah. um, We were I tired, drive. and it was Super Bowl Sunday. So the girls both had a children's chicken tenders. Yeah. Sienna was fast asleep, and I had the turkey burger with apple slaw. How's the chicken tenders, girls? Oh, they were lovely. So good. They were, they were really like nice. Disney chicken tenders. Yeah, they were Maybe very it's fresh. <laughs> no, it's not. It's universal. Good. I know, but like, same country. And do you know what? A child's meal at that time and night, because it was late, wasn't it? It was about it was 9 like o'clock. Yeah. 9 o'clock. So I didn't want a big, heavy meal before going to bed. So and you got was, free apple juice, wasn't oh, yeah, you? Yeah, you got an apple juice. And I got the turkey cube burger which was really really tasty i was surprised didn't really want a beef burger on that case but that was really good and really tasty we also got a resort mug which meant we could get soft drinks hot drinks and water uh, in all our stay while we were at the resort mm -hmm. uh, and that was about 22 dollars for the whole trip so whether you're there for a day a week or two weeks it works out at about 22 dollars for the whole time so it's yeah. really really good value very good so our first full day on the Monday, we went to Universal and we went to both parks because we did ourselves a bit of a treat, didn't we? We made it Harry Potter Day. Mm -hmm. And because of it was Harry Potter Day, we had to go to Scarlett's favourite, which was... Honey Dukes. Or... <laughs> Uh, cauldron cake. Oh my god, these are literally so good. You yeah, have to get you one. You have to get one. I do not care. Like, if you're in Universal Studios and it's your last day and you're only there, go to Islands of Adventure and get a cauldron cake. You can yeah. actually get them in Universal as well, I think. Can you? Yeah, yeah. So, but the cauldron cake's a chocolate brownie cake so with like good. fire frosting on the top. It's so, it's so, so tasty. tasty. Very, so good. Very, I think and it's we've favorite. always got one between the four of us. And what's amazing is it comes in a ceramic cup with the ingredients on the box for how to make it. So you can do it again when you get home. Yeah, it's definitely, I mean, they're like 10, 11 dollars or something. There's definitely, you know, I mean, me and Ashley didn't have a lot, did we, the, the children? What do you get a chance? I think but that's like my, probably my favourite. They are quite sickly, so I would say. I mean, you, we could probably get two between us, but anyway. That's probably my favourite snack in like, Universal for okay. So when we finished with that, we were then in Diagon Alley and had to go and get the best drink in any theme park in Orlando. By far, it was a frozen butter beer. Oh, yeah. So we went and got ourselves a frozen butter beer, which we again, we shared between the four of us because they are quite sickly, but they are mega, mega tasty. And we always end up with the milk moustache. Yeah. But we, definitely recommend that anybody going has yeah. to get themselves a frozen butter beer. Yeah. Also, if you like ice cream, this tastes like ice cream. It's really good. Yeah. It's like a butterscotch flavour, isn't it? It a is, yeah. Flavor. It took us a while to work out exactly what it was, yeah. it? but Lindsay okay. worked it out. Yeah, like so then sure. after a uh, little bit of a rest at our resort, we came back out onto City Walk for our very first experience of Big Fire. So this is a, a restaurant which specialises in burgers and steaks. And actually, the setting was beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah. Really, really nice. really nice. 
really open, really airy, and we really, really enjoyed it. So me and Lindsay both had the Wagyu steak burger, which came with the largest dagger I've ever seen to try and eat your food with, <laughs> and potato wedges. And the girls shared the burger sliders. Now, because these girls don't tend to eat two... Oh, no, sorry, they didn't share on this no, one, did they? They, both had, they both had the burger sliders, which meant they got two each. And ironically, they both left the burger slider each. Um, yeah. But, Scarlett, what did you think of the burger sliders? They were actually really nice. It tasted like... Not like... Not like... They were like proper burger, not yeah. like... Yeah. Like a char-grilled burger. Yeah. Really, really nice. Really so, good. Really, really tasty. And when we were finished with the burgers, we had a dessert, which was really fun to do. Yeah. We had the s'mores. So they came with our own so central fire <laughs> with marshmallows, chocolate, crackers, peanut butter. Homemade marshmallows. And we literally got to cook ourselves our own s'mores on the table, it which was so, was so yeah, much fun. fun. Yeah, and it was absurd. Like, Sienna was terrified of the fire and obsessed with me. Just, she'd eat like half of it and then be like, I want another one! Yeah. <laughs> it was because she wanted to toast a marshmallow. So again, really, really fun and again, really tasty. So, yeah. did we enjoy the big fire girls? Yeah. Really good. Really good. Yeah, it was good. So that was a really good day of food on that day. The next day, we're on the Tuesday, we went over to Island Adventure and after doing some rides, we went back into Seuss Landing for what has become a bit of a Hackett family breakfast tradition. <laughs> the biggest donut you can find. We always get the chocolate one. Yeah. It's about $10. And the great thing about this is it actually is, it is big enough to be cut into four. Oh. Well, it can it's cut like into four, four or Lindsay would probably happily eat one around. It's basically four donuts. <laughs> It is. It's well, a really, it really big donut. Nice donut. It's nice and soft, and Very we always fresh. enjoy yeah. the big chocolate donut. I think we should do a challenge where we could try eat the full donut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In the afternoon, we went across to Volcano Bay, and while we were there, we had another one of the Hackett traditions now, which is the flatbread pizza. We got the pepperoni, and we got a large portion of French fries. We always then take it to our bed, sit in front of the volcano, and chow down. Yeah. Oh, don't talk about this pizza. Wait, I literally if you remember really that, want if, it right now. <laughs> if you remember that day, we were going out for dinner, wasn't we? Yeah, and we didn't want to ruin one. it. We were going out for a big dinner. Because normally we get two, don't we? Yeah, but we so just we got three. we weren't being as greedy, greedy piggies yeah. on this go. <laughs> <laughs> So then later that evening, we get off site and went mm -hmm. to a first for us called Kobe Japanese Steakhouse, which is a tapanyaki on International Drive. This was so much fun, wasn't it? Was it? So it was so good. Amazing. It was Valentine's Night as well. It was Valentine's Night. And even did yeah. the, like, the volcano bit as well. It was so good. It tasted so nice. And we had chicken, steak, noodles, fresh vegetables. Did we have rice? We had rice, rice as well. Yeah. And the oh, yum yeah. yum sauce is just unbelievable. Yeah. Now what I would say about this place was, it was really expensive, Disney prices, but we had a great night, yeah. we had a great time, and we had lots and lots of fun, and would definitely recommend oh, yeah, 100%. the Kobe definitely. Japanese Steakhouse. Yeah, so good. But we then left and went for dessert further up mm. in Sassel Drive to what seems to be a bit of a favourite in Twisty Treat, which was a soft-served ice cream, and you could get lots and lots of different flavours. What do we think, girls? Oh, so good. 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 We have to go there I again. didn't have the soft serve. I had the harder one. Oh, you, you did? What flavour did you have? I had salty caramel, I think, or something like that, like caramel. Or... I got, like, the vanilla soft serve dipped in the chocolate. Oh, and so yeah. It, like, it was hard and it was so good. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a definite recommendation for you guys to try. Definitely. The next morning, we started the day at an endless summer with a Starbucks and some breakfast from Pier 8 Market again. And we shared two portions of waffles, which cut up, was more than enough for us in the morning. Yeah, definitely. Good there was just one issue with it. Come on. We let Sienna loose with maple syrup, chocolate, oh, yeah. and oh. literally it ended up everywhere. Yes, it did. But we enjoyed it. Yeah, and you got a little pot of fruit as well with them, which was nice. Or chocolate chips. Yeah, chocolate chips. Which was even nicer. We chose chocolate chips. <laughs> but we always take lots of um, things for the rooms, don't we? You know, like, so for the kids when yeah. we first wake up, so... Yeah. Like, and we have some bits before, yeah, and, and we're not really big breakfast eaters, no, but, the so then we take bar. snacks for during the day. And things like that. So then later that 
evening or early, well, it was late afternoon, early evening, wasn't it? We went to mm -hmm. another one of our favourites, which is the Hard Rock Cafe over at City Walk. I mean, how can you not love a restaurant that you walk in with a giant Cadillac? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I kept saying, Pika! I went for my traditional, which is the pulled pork. I have it every time I go to uh, Hard Rock. I'm always a bit boring and I have it every single time. Scarlet and Sienna had the chicken tapulos and a mac and cheese um, each. Uh, I think one had french fries. And Lindsay had a bit of a problem with her burger, but when it eventually came, what did you have on it, Lindsay? Can you remember? Um, was it pineapple? And... No, it was no pineapple. Um, it was just a legendary burger. But oh, it was a legendary burger. Why did send it back? Can you because, remember? Because um, it came with tomato and you were allergic to it. So it was nothing yeah, major. Yeah. So again, really, really good meal here in Hard Rock. Lots and lots of tasty food. Anyone got anything else I want to say? Um, we were just a little bit annoyed that obviously they took my food away for eggs, didn't they? So yeah, it just kind of puts a bit of a sour taste on it, doesn't yeah, it? Pardon yeah. the pun. We still pun. wouldn't, we still wouldn't. We'd still look, we'll still always go open. back. It's just obviously you like to be able to eat all together. Yeah. yeah. So then our next day, which was the Thursday, again in Islands of Adventure, we um, didn't really have much to eat in the morning, did we? But then sort of mid-morning, the girls got quite hungry and wanted some pretzel bites from Aunt Annie's, which again, I think everyone who's ever been to America has tried these at some point and they're just delicious, aren't they? They really are. And they're good for like a little snack, with like a big pretzel, it's like, oh, such a big pretzel to eat. But that little bite <laughs> is so nice. Yeah, there you go. So our next bit was, I would argue, the best snack at Universal yeah, it's very over good. at Green Egg and Ham, which are tater tots with lots and lots of different toppings on. On this occasion, we went for the pizza tater tots, which mm. meant they had tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, and pepperoni. Mm. Can we go back and just do a full day of just eating Universal snacks? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> we then went off site later that evening and went to the outlet and went to another one of the Hacking Fam faves, oh, which is the Cheesecake, cheesecake Factory. Factory. Definitely my favourite. Is that because you can get as much free bread as you want? Well, no, that bread is so good. <laughs> yeah, you just get, like, the ladies kept bringing more bread and we're like, yeah, we oh, you shouldn't have real. all that bread because it means you feel so full. But... And I had the honey chicken with mashed potatoes. First time I've ever had this, amazing portion, massive, probably portion. could have fed, could have fed all four of us. It could have, yeah. Um, <laughs> but super, nice super tasty. Mm -hmm. Lindsay had uh, the green curry, which you always have. Yeah, don't the you, coconut Lindsay? curry it's good, and you get cashew nuts on it. Oh, it's just incredible. So good, if you've not tried it. What did you have, Scarlett? I had the chicken tenders. Uh, chicken tenders, mm -hmm. you had uh, french fries, to share between the so you have a portion of fries each and the chicken tenders and mm -hmm. oh we also have a mac and cheese on the oh, table oh, so good so good the problem was we had that much food and we had that much to take away we didn't leave ourselves any room for cheese crunk I can't believe we went to the cheesecake factory and didn't have cheesecake I've still not forgiven us right now I said we need to get cheesecake and we, we said we did well we said no and Oh, Shame so on you, Lindsay Hackett. And then later Shame on, on. <laughs> we were like, why did we not get <laughs> <laughs> So this was our last day at Universal. And after the tears, the fact that we walked all the way around City Walk and did a big tour that day, didn't we? All the, all the area. We went to our favourite, Voodoo Donut. Mm -hmm. Can't get better than Voodoo Donut. Oh. These are the best donuts in the world. Yeah. Lindsay, which one's your favourite? My favourite. <laughs> I think it's called the maple? the maple something. But it's got basically it's like um it's got custard inside it, like a custard, like a vanilla cream should I say. It is so good. It's like a grey you know then grey style now, it's like very very custard milk. Or custard milk. And I had a brand new favourite on this occasion, where it was an orange uh, popsicle style, mm. um, which had some peach on the top, it was orange, lots of chocolate, it was really, really tasty. And Scarlett had the same that she always has. Yeah, me and Sienna both got the same this time. It's not, obviously it doesn't taste like Oreo, so it's really the best thing in the world. It's like Oreo with like a cream on the top, but the cream tastes like, do you like the cream in an Oreo? That's what it tastes so good. <laughs> Very good. We then went over to Disney to go to Art of Animation. And while we were there, we had lunch at the Landscape of Seasons. We didn't get a lot to eat, to be honest, because we're still full from them enormous donuts. 
So we got a chicken tenders and fries to share, which is an adult portion, which is about $10, which for child version is $7 and you get two. So it's always worth getting the adult version. We chowed down on these chicken tenders, which were amazing. You can't get better than a Disney one. And then Scarlett had one of her favorite snacks, the Mickey shaped marshmallow stick. Oh, these are so good, literally. But they've gone like more expensive now. So we then went over to Disney Springs and went to Blaze Pizza, which we've been to Blaze in LA, but this is the first time we've been in Orlando, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a place where you literally tell them exactly what you want on your pizza. They cook it in front of you. I had all the meats. I <laughs> had a little bit of cheese this time. Mm -hmm. um, Scarlett and Sienna had a ham. Yeah, they shared one. Ham and Sienna one each, didn't they? And mm -hmm. Lindsay had, um, you had pepperoni oh, and vegetables. Yeah. And then we got the cheese stick garlic bread in the middle. Honestly, guys, this is a really, really good value. Really, really nice meal that you can get. Disney Springs and it's also good for yeah. you can see them making the food in front of you and putting really it all together. Nice. And they're really big as well so like we had a lot to save so yeah, we, we could share. Took, we took some back to the We did yeah. and actually yeah. had it the next day for we breakfast. We did, we actually yeah. did. There you go, it was, breakfast, breakfast. It was a double yeah. meal. We had a cold pizza for breakfast. So then we felt like we wanted a snack, uh, or a dessert but then me and Lindsay couldn't really decide on anything because we were going to go to Gideon's mm -hmm. And the queue was about four weeks, wasn't it? Yeah. So we missed it on this go. But Scarlett decided, because this trip ended up being all about her birthday for the whole trip, she went into Sprinkles, because apparently, if you go to Sprinkles on your birthday, you get a free cupcake. It's something she's seen on TikTok. Me and Ashley were like, this ain't gonna work. And it she did. She came out with a free cupcake. <laughs> what did you get, and Scarlett? And you could choose any class, chose a sprinkle, and you could choose any cupcake you wanted. It was crazy. I thought it was going to be like fake and then I went in and was like, yeah, what cupcake? I was like, what? <laughs> and how was it? It was so good. I think it tastes better than it's free. <laughs> Technically, everything's free for you. Yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> Our first day in a Disney park was over at Hollywood Studios and after doing lots of rides, around lunchtime we went to Rose's mm. for, I had the foot long hot dog, <laughs> Lindsay had the cheeseburger mm -hmm. and Scarlett just wanted some french fries, Sienna again was asleep. Now the great thing here was is they actually made a mistake with Lindsay's burger because it came with no cheese, so they ended up um, giving us an extra burger for free, so Sienna did get a burger. Yeah, yeah. when she woke up, we saved her some fries and she had I a think burger. I had the hot dog, and it was great. It was good. It wasn't a Casey's hot dog, no. but it was still a pretty good hot dog. I think that day, I think I was really like full from the pizza we just had for breakfast. We did have our so pizza I just for breakfast, had um, yeah. some fries. I just felt like some fries. I did it. So later that day, we were going to watch the Beauty and the Beast show and went to Hollywood Scoops for what can only be explained as the biggest chocolate brownie mm. ice cream ever. And we got three of them. Big mistake, but a good mistake. I have four words for it. The best dessert ever. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. What did you think, Lynn? I mean... I don't know if you can see on here, but how quickly I'm demolishing it. Then you did finish shows. it first. And I, I finished mine first. And then, and then I the finished girls. Scarlet's and Sienna's because they couldn't finish Actually, it. Actually, let me change that. Best of the in Hollywood Studios. Yeah, I just said that about them. So the next day, we headed over to Epcot on the Skyliner and started the day with breakfast with some Mickey waffles, and which is always a good way to start the day. Yeah. My favourite thing in the world. We just got them to go, didn't we? We did, and that one Skyline. Yeah. So then later that day, we uh, went on Guardians of the Galaxy and I needed my caffeine. So we had a queue at Joffrey's, couldn't believe the size of the queues, and got uh, two donuts. Me and Sienna shared the blue, Lindsay and Scarlett shared the pink. I had a cold brew, Lindsay had a cappuccino. And we do love a Joffrey's, don't we? Yeah. It's a shame they're not in more places than just Disney, but yeah. the donuts as well are super soft and really really good we then went back to our resort went back to the seasons of flair uh, landscape of seasons at art of animation and we enjoyed the chicken parmesan oh we did yeah with pasta and the girls enjoyed a chicken tenders with french fries mm -hmm. again adult portion so you get four instead of two for extra two dollars 
and it ours also came with a little garlic bread. Do you remember Lynn's? It was actually really nice, wasn't it? It was, it was nice. okay. Yeah. Sorry, you thought it was really nice. I thought it was yeah. okay. Um, but we'd lost lots and lots of reviews saying how good it was. I'm glad you yeah. had it. Yeah, I mean, it was just a little snack, wasn't it? Well, we were going out <laughs> for dinner, wasn't we? Like, you, well, yeah, the plan was obviously originally to go around Epcot and try and see what we could find. Yeah. So we did oh, yeah. go back to Epcot. We couldn't really find anything to eat, and we ended up in China. Mm. And in China, we went across It to went that we couldn't find anything to eat. We couldn't decide what we fancied, could we? Fair enough. It went that, I mean, there's plenty of places there's, to eat. Well, we, we had <laughs> most of them on the other But last I think time. that was it, because we tried so much stuff. We were just like, we couldn't make a decision, could we, together? Well, like, I can't remember, because we no. ate so much food. So, we so me and up... Lindsay ended up going to the Lotus Blossom Cafe. So I had the orange chicken, which was nice, but it's not a Panda Express orange chicken. And Lindsay, you had the sweet and sour, didn't you? Uh, you did, you had sweet and sour chicken, which came with rice, it came with vegetables. It was okay, wasn't yeah, it? It, it was, was nice, okay. it was a decent, quick service meal, um, and we enjoyed it, and it certainly filled up those tummies after only having two meals already that day. Scarlett couldn't find anything to eat anywhere we went, and in the end, she ended up in America. As you did? At the funnel cake stand and for an evening meal had a funnel cake with chocolate and sh sugar. Oh, like, who doesn't? Like, if you hmm. do, if only you in Disney about... World. Oh, you can only Disney get away World. with it there, kid. Was it well, good? yeah. And to be fair, she ate pretty much all of it, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, she did. Much to Lindsay's dismay. I know. Well, we've, I was we, like, we went <laughs> everywhere. Going she was by, like, trying about? to bite it all, like, having no, to like, bite I'm... half of it. I was like, yeah. stay away! <laughs> <laughs> Running away from me. <laughs> so our final full day at Disney, and on this Monday, we went for a brand new one for us, which mm. was Topolino's Terrace at it the Riviera. Amazing. A beautiful restaurant where you get to meet lots of characters, including the great man himself, Mickey, Mickey Mouse, Mouse, in some really, really fun costumes, weren't they? There was Mickey, Minnie, Donald and Daisy, and they had some really cool costumes on, didn't they? Mickey had like a paint outfit. Yeah. Daisy had a ballerina outfit from Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Um, Minnie had this like French outfit on, wasn't yeah. it? Um, and Donald. We'll have to check. We'll have to check. <laughs> so Don well, once all we'd had fun with all the characters, the pastries came. Oh. Which mm. there was croissants, there was chocolate chip cookies, and Lindsay, do you remember the apple crumble cake? Oh, I don't. I'm not even a big fan of right now. Crumble, but, oh, that was so good. So good that she ordered a second I helping. Ordered a second, yeah. Now it used to be that you could order as many. Um, plates off the a la carte menu at Topolino's but they've changed it now to be that you can only order one so I ordered the steak but I wanted some eggs with it so they actually put some scrambled egg on with me but ironically it came with mashed potatoes as well but I've got to say that is the best steak I've ever had at Disney it was delicious the girls had the uh, Mickey waffles with bacon so cool and Lynn, the Mickey what did you have? Cups, so I had the bacon and um, potatoes. Like homemade potatoes, Yeah, wasn't like it? homemade potato. It was delicious. It was so good. Um, it was one of the, you know, one of the our part menu. It was really, really tasty. Really tasty. And once we'd finished the meal, we went out onto the terrace, which was just amazing. The view. So good. We could see so many of the parks and springs and different resorts. So once we'd finished on the terrace, in the evening, we went over to Magic Kingdom for the After Hours event, which we, we were pretty much the only people in the park, weren't we? It was yeah. so good. It was so good. We got on all the rides uh, in less time than you could imagine, like five-minute wait times for everything. Yeah. It was incredible. Like, Seven really, really Wars Mine Train was like ten minutes. Like, it's first but minutes. But before we did that, mm -hmm. we watched the fireworks, and before we did that, we had to have our favourite, Casey's Hot Dogs. Yeah, we did. So we got two foot long hot dogs between us with the chili sauce and cheese and two french fries and honestly you could feed six people with this it's <laughs> yeah, massive it's huge. It um, really is. you can't get better than a casey's hot dog can you scarlet yeah, it's the best hot dog out there really good you sure you enjoyed it lens um, you're not sure you look like you do are there? <laughs> so good <laughs> so once we'd finished with our hot dogs and watched the fireworks what happens at an after hours party, Scarlett? We get unlimited snacks, coke, drinks, popcorn, literally. So you get free coke, free diet coke, free spray, free
free water, free popcorn. Ice it was the Mickey shaped ice cream bars, wasn't it? It was the ice cream sandwiches. The Olaf um, ice pop. It was just incredible, so wasn't it? We couldn't eat enough ice creams. It was really good. We literally had like a stash of Coca-Cola <laughs> taken home. I think you tried to collect all the 50th anniversary I did bottles, as well. I did it as well. I collect them all. It was so good. Mm -hmm. So then our following morning, our last morning as we were flying home, we had to go back to a classic and go oh, to Ohana. And in Ohana at the Polynesian, you get to have breakfast with Mickey, Lilo and Stitch and Pluto. <laughs> it was so good. Really, really good. Uh -huh. And the pineapple, the bread, pineapple bread came bread. first. Oh. <laughs> pineapple <laughs> Lindsay's bread. knees go every time the yeah. pineapple bread is mentioned. Oh. And once we'd finished about three loaves of pineapple bread, out came all the cooked food, which is scrambled eggs, biscuits, pineapple ham, sausages, that potato ham. wedges, yeah. and what else, Scarlett? <laughs> Lilo Stitch and Mickey Waffles. Mm. This is still one of the best breakfasts you can have yeah. at Disney property. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely still up there as one of the best after, yeah. I would say, after Topolino's Terrace. Yeah. But it was a great way for us to finish our trip. And as you can see, we all really, really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we had to go back to the airport. Mm -hmm. And whilst we didn't get anything to eat, we went to Bahama Breeze and had a quick drink, which meant we nearly missed our flight home. Oh my goodness. But it was a good way for us to cheers to the holiday. Well, hopefully we've given you lots and lots of tips and tricks uh, for your next trip to Universal and Disney. Um, we had lots in there that we would highly recommend. And Linz, what was your favourite part of the trip? What was the favourite thing you ate on the trip? Favourite thing I ate on the trip? Oof. I mean, I love Vohana breakfast. Love it. Scarlett? I think Topolino's, you know, because it was like Because you got first Mickey waffles time. in a fancy first stick. Time. Yeah, <laughs> and I got like... Croissants, muffins, oh, chocolate know. chips. Oh, the tapanyaki was really good. <laughs> that was good as well. <laughs> There's too many good ones. And the cauldron cakes. So, thanks for watching, guys. There's only one way we can ever finish a vlog. Make sure you like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell. And comment down below your favourite dessert or, like, pastry, snack, whatever, in... Orlando or Disney. Tell us your favourite and what place. Good one, Scarly. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.